Here are all the stuff that you would need to successfully change the oil and the oil filter on the car basically would be exactly the same sort of uh, instruments or tools or whatever you want to call them for any sort of car. In my case it would be a 2010 Honda Insight. You would need obviously a jack to jack up the car so you can crawl underneath since we don't have a garage uh, to have the lift. So you need to lift the car instead of the jack doing it for you any sort of a jack will do you can use the com the one that comes with the with the car itself next thing next we got some uh, basic tools you need a flips head screwdriver because there's a cover underneath your car splash cover so you need to unscrew all the screws make sure you don't lose them uh, to get to the mechanical bits of the car so you can uh, drain the old oil from the car uh, as you crawl underneath the car i'm going to show you in a second you're not gonna see anything, just a plastic bit that you need to undo with a flip set screwdriver. Then you can use either a 14 millimeter wrench or a socket. Either of them will do the exactly the same thing. This is uh, for the drain plug. And then this fancy tool is nothing but just a special tool designed to undo the oil filter. There are different types. This is the only thing that I could get my hands off. It does the job. You're only gonna use it once a year or once every two years, depending on how, how often you're gonna change the oil. If you are a, a really active driver, maybe you use it twice a year. I don't know, it depends on how many miles you put on the car. But the job for this one is to undo the oil filter. You need an oil filter. Make sure you get the right one for the car. Uh, you can google it you can uh, check it on different websites by the way wix is not sponsoring or anything to do with this video it's just the only thing that i could find from the shops uh, then you need some good quality oil since you're doing it yourself and you're saving on the cost of the labor might as well invest in the quality of the oil uh, here in finland where i'm living it's quite harsh weather in the winter it can go up to minus 30 and right now it's summer it's about 12 o'clock and it's 27 degrees celsius obviously so the temperature difference between the winter and the summer could go all the way up to 70 degrees celsius that's why i get good quality oil mobile one is not sponsoring either it's just what i've been using for many years and they uh, they 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 pass the test so they're quite good this one is for gasoline and diesel engines this one is a hybrid it uses a gasoline and a small electric motor so i'm just gonna use this one and 5w30 what it means it means five winter is not five watt a lot of people think that w stands for what no it's for five winter uh, the lower the number before w is it means that the easier it's gonna start over the cold winter days so if you go onto the shops and find zero w20 that is like the best one that you can buy but obviously it's it's coming with a price tag it's quite expensive 5w30 is good enough for here in finland and we got like pretty bad winters so if this does the job here in finland i'm sure that with this stuff you can go anywhere else in the world unless you're living in siberia or alaska or something like that but yeah so this is what i'm gonna use last thing last you need a funnel to obviously pour the new oil in and you need some sort of a catch for the old oil to drip in uh, i'm using the 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 stuff that is built for this sort of a job but if you don't even have one of these do not worry so much about it what you can do you can get one of those windshield uh, washer uh, bottles like this one but it comes kind of like a square cut it on the side there are four liters this one is a four liter one as well so they can hold up to four liters you just cut it on the side put it underneath the car you need to aim for it properly and it can hold up to four liters of old oil so even if you don't have one of these you can still do the job you don't necessarily need to say i can't do it because i don't have one of these even an old waste bottle can do the trick for you so anyway this is all the parts that we have to start the job obviously on top of all of this you need to have the keys for the car since we're gonna go inside the car and open the bonnet 
so here is where it is the latch to open the bonnet just like that if this is the first time you're looking inside your bonnet that's where it is located and when you come around you see now we got a small gap in there you gotta put your hand underneath and start going right and left and see where you can get the little little thing so you have to undo it like basically you're looking for this and you're just lifting it like that as you can see there is a hook in here it's gonna undo the this one and then you can lift it up once it is lifted you don't need to hold it yourself there is actually stick designed so you pick up this stick and there's a place for it to go and it is here so you just put this stick in there leave it like that and there it is now this is the engine obviously a little bit dirty here is the battery we have changed the battery on this car back in the winter since we had some problems with it starting up you can see the video right here go and check it out and also we changed the sway bars or the dog bones on this car as well the video is here you can go and check it out also on this car we changed the indicator so the video is here you can go and see the indicator change video but right now we are changing the oil on this car so first thing first you need to get yourself familiar with the engine where we're gonna put the oil in that's where we're gonna pour the new oil in as you can see there is a nice beautiful kettle picture on top of it that is dripping that's not actually a kettle that's a little oil pan so uh, that means that this is where you're gonna pour the new oil in make sure you find this one before you go ahead and act like a mechanic drain the whole thing and then you don't have any idea where to pour the new oil in so it's kind of like a small steps in reverse you gotta first make sure that you gotta get the new oil in before you get rid of the old oil so just find this one try to get as much information as you can if it is dirty I mean like this is like slightly just dusty it's not dirty but if it is dirty you got all sorts of like a, a garbage around it or like leaves or something make sure that you swipe it up because you don't want anything after you open this one you don't want anything to go inside your engine that is gonna cause tons of problems so make sure that it is clean at least to this state that will do the job and loosen it just like that now I'm gonna give you a couple of tips when you open it up you look at that that is a beautiful oil but still I'm gonna change it why since I'm living here in Finland and I don't know what's gonna happen to me in the next year so maybe I need to go on a really long trip maybe something happens to the car I want to have the insurance of not doing this on minus 15 degrees on a really bad winter day since I don't have a garage and I have to do it on open air so I'm just doing it here in summer so make sure that it is loose it comes off just like that and you need to put it like that right now because you don't want anything to go in there as long as it's loose and you can take it off next thing is this one this funny stick on the side of the engine the whole job for this one is to show you how much of an oil you got right now in there so if you look at here you got two dots and the oil is gonna be somewhere in between these two dots obviously now you can see it's a little bit further up and the reason behind that is when you're running the engine or you have the car on a slope like me uh, it's gonna splash everything in the uh, oil pan and it's gonna get the stick dirty so in a real case scenario you take it out you wipe it off you put it back in and then you take it out again and then you can read the correct reading on the stick so that is gonna show you what sort of a uh, oil that you currently have in your car and how much of it 
if we look further down there you can see that black thing and that is the oil filter and it is located next to the engine I don't know if you can see it from here but it's really hard to get it that's what I'm basically talking about so that's the oil filter we're gonna access it from underneath the car since it's really hard to get it from this side and uh, yeah normally that is gonna be changed every two oil changes uh, I probably don't change it on this one since uh, I've changed it last year so I probably skip that bit but I'm gonna show you how to uh, how to use the uh, special tool designed to get the oil filter out plus it's a good quality oil filter I uh, spent uh, quite a good money on it and it still can manage up to 50,000 miles but I'm not I'm not gonna bother with, with that one I'm just gonna keep it as it is right there 50,000 miles is for the oil filter normally you gotta change the oil every 20,000 miles depending on the type of weather that you're driving your car with this car hasn't been driven that much last year uh, that's why the quality of oil is still real good but as I said I'm just gonna change it to give myself the peace of mind right so this is the engine so far what we need to know where the our oil uh, intake is so basically we got to give the oil to the engine from this part we got to check how much of oil we have and how much of what's the quality of oil from here and that's our oil filter so the three steps to check before you attempt to do any other sort of uh, maintenance so let's go with the next step I'm gonna take you underneath the car and start undoing the plastic cover for for the oil pan now we are underneath the car as you can see well maybe you can see or you cannot see here are some screws flips the screws all the way around that you need to undo and there is another one and there is another one if I can get it so these are all gonna get rid of this plastic bit over here which uh, ultimately is gonna give us the access to all the parts underneath the car or serviceable parts underneath the car uh, I'm just gonna quickly do this one and get back to you and show you what is underneath this plastic right okay so now I've undo it let's go underneath the car and this is what we get so this funny thing here is the oil filter and it tells you what to do with it how to check it as you can see here are some instructions on how much of an oil you should have and how to dispose it and what to do with it so it's pretty straightforward that's your oil filter that's your oil pan so and this little guy over here is a drain right so this is where you're gonna get all the oil the oil out okay I got my cash pan underneath the car and the plastic bit is undone just make sure that you cover the drain plug pretty pretty good with the surface of your cash pan if you got a smaller one you got to be a little bit more careful with it but it's doable I've done it before on the side of the road so this is doable good. that bit uh, I've said it before it, I, I thought it was a 14 millimeter but it's actually I believe it's a 17 millimeter so, sorry for the really bad filming I just got two hands yeah so it's a 17 millimeter as you can see perfectly snuggles in there and uh, another thing that I want to mention at this point you do not need to put all your force and everything in there this is met this the metal here is iron so it's a really hard metal the metal here is not iron so it's probably like five times harder than this one if you put all force in here it's gonna crack and that's the last thing you want to happen to your engine it's gonna cause a lot of problems and you can't fix it yourself so without further to do let's just loosen this one and get the oil out so an old trick as I always said lefty loosey righty tighty so if you do it to the right it's gonna tight it for you if you do it to the left it's gonna loosen it up for you 
it's a little bit hard for me to do it in this awkward position with holding a camera so I probably need to put the camera down for a second now that it is loosened you're gonna make sure that while you're undoing it you're not gonna drop this little guy into your oil catch pan just put your finger on top of it while you're undoing it so it doesn't suddenly fly off once it is all the way done just let it go simple as there you go so save the guy bring it out give it a good wipe make sure you don't lose it and let this one drain and does its job now that it is draining underneath to help it out you can come here and do this one so it can breathe in just like that let it rest on the side so I can breathe in the air from this side and drain slightly smoothly from the other side yeah it is just coming down like a little nail as you can see if I can zoom in yeah it's doing its bit so I'm gonna let it drizzle all the little bits and bobs and get back to it later on the video so we get to the part of the video where I'm gonna tell you how to remove this guy with this specifically designed oil filter removal tool it's going to work on different cars uh, this one in particular is quite easy because it is mounted with quite a good access around it some cars they just i don't know for some weird reason they just put it on real weird places uh, the tool is really easy to use as you can see there's a long screw in here all you gotta do is just unscrew it to the point that it can hold the oil filter and as you can see there are some groove cutouts and in here there are some sort of like a wrench cutouts so you just gotta make sure that it is out up to a fair amount of uh, allowance for the oil filter to fit inside the this bar or ribbon once it is in there then you gotta use the screw underneath to fasten it and get a good grip for it as I screw this bit you can see this upper part is moving just make sure that you got it right and you got it snug uh, if the car that you're driving uh, in a shape that your oil filter looks like that it hasn't been changed for so many years probably you got some difficulty removing it but if you have been doing your maintenance and your service on a regular basis at least once a year then it's got to be in good shape once it is a snug and you can't twist it anymore that means that it's perfect then you just pull towards yourself to undo this bit I'm not gonna do it because I quite like the seal over here and I'm not gonna change this one and once it is pulled toward yourself and it's loose you can just take this one out and undo it with your hand now very important when you change the oil filter on the car there are a number of things that you gotta bear in mind first of all the worst start that you will have on the car is the first one after the oil change because the pistons are gonna run dry you drain all the oil you drain all the oil inside the filter and it's gonna run the pistons inside the engine without any oil and it's gonna cause a lot of uh, well not so much of a damage but a lot of being really harsh to your engine so uh, if it is possible for you it's not possible for me because it is mounted sideways but if it's possible for you and it is like upside down make sure that you fill your oil filter with oil and then plug back in because if it's got oil in it then the minute that you gotta start the oil pump is gonna run and it's gonna give the oil to the to the to the pistons and you're not gonna 
be really harsh to your engine so that's one thing another thing when you want to put the oil filter back in this is regardless of being sideways or upside down or any other sort of like a design that comes with your oil filter make sure that there is a gasket on top of here uh, I'm gonna show you on the new oil filter that I have there's a gasket in there get some of this old oil that you just drained from here put your finger in there and uh, just make it oily once it is oily and it goes in there you only need to hand tighten this one and I cannot stress it anymore you need to hand tighten even there is a picture in here hand tight only you see you don't need to use this wrench to tighten this just hand tight that's it because there again you need to remove this at some point and it's kind of in a bad place because it's gonna get warm it's gonna get cold and it's gonna eventually seize in there so if you use any other sort of power tool or anything trying to think that you're doing a good job you're doing more harm to your car hand tight only and uh, the oil that you're gonna put in there it's gonna make it easier to remove this eventually in the future whenever you need to change this so first of all make sure if it's possible you fill this one with oil and then put it back in there and another thing the gasket make sure you kind of lubricate it with the old oil or the fresh oil doesn't matter normally people use the old oil and then put it back in there that's gonna help you a ton when you want to remove it eventually in the future so that's done it's almost stopped draining I'm gonna put the plug back in there and start filling just one more thing before I put the plug back in there you can see there is a washer in here this washer is also a serviceable part uh, believe it or not you can actually purchase this washer they say for every two or three oil changes you need to change this washer because it's not going to be as efficient as it was designed to do and the job is to obviously seal the deal and make sure that there is no oil coming out so yeah this is a serviceable part i've changed it last year and uh, it's not going to cost you a lot of money here in finland is about 70 cents in euro cents so make sure when you buy the oil buy the oil filter uh, buy one of these as well from the shop all right so it is up to the dripping stage now we're gonna go in here getting a little bit of oil doesn't matter see very simple you don't need to be a super mechanic uh, how much of money you've saved so far I mean just to be honest with you isn't it fun working on your car that's it and now look at this I haven't put any pressure that's it that's all you need to do that's perfect and it's good for another year so now what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna wipe this bit a little bit and the reason behind it that we're gonna wipe it obviously it's not gonna show up but when you wipe it and you fill it with oil again if there is any leak or anything you can see that it is coming out from here uh, so it's gonna be easier to rectify any problems before we go ahead and start driving it right now that we're gonna fill it in we're not gonna just fill it in all in one go try to fill it in at least in three uh, incrementals or uh, three times uh, I mean like feed it in a little bit let it settle give it at, at least like half a minute to a minute let it settle then again fill it up a little bit more give it another half a minute fill it up a little bit more give it a little bit half a minute that way you can make sure that you don't overfill your engine uh, if you are just doing something wrong because it is way easier to do it slowly slowly and check every so often with your stick rather than overfilling it and then uh, bump into all sorts of problems that's the most uh, logical way of doing it if you know any other ways let me know down below in the comments so that's what we're gonna do we're just gonna slowly fill it in so now it drank the whole bottle let's see what we got down here and it is climbing up so we're in a good shape put the lid back on I'm just gonna bring the car down 
but before I do so I'm just gonna go underneath make sure that there is no drips from the drain plug and then put the plastic coverage back on so the engine will be safe so I hope it has been informative for you thank you very much for watching uh, watch the other videos on maintenance for this car as well soon I'm gonna change the uh, air filter for this car and I'm gonna put the video on how to change the air filter in here in the corner so if you click one two now there you go you click on there and then you will learn how to change the air filter on this car and yeah thank you very much for watching stay tuned subscribe to the channel and leave some comments down below thank you